can you explain why alligator hunting is necessary? Because I think a lot of people would think, wait a second, that's really weird. Why are you doing it? You know, there's so many out there. You know, you need population control. Um, it gets dangerous, you know. They're, they're overpopulated in the waterways that people swim in. You know, you got kids out there. And, you know, you feel almost like you're out there protecting, you know, other humans by taking care of the population. And what do you all do once you catch the, the alligators? What do you do with them? Well, we bring them in and uh, sell them to a buyer who takes them to a processing plant. And <clears throat> nothing on the alligator is wasted. You know, that's one of the good things about it is, you know, they don't, they don't only use it for the meat or the skins, but the heads are used, the feet are used. I mean, everything is used on the alligator. None of it goes to waste. We all have some back scratches. I bet you do. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you about that. I mean. How dangerous is this? Because when I watch the show, first of all, I think y'all are crazy. Can I just establish <laughs> that here and now? <laughs> I respect what you do, and uh, but but I mean, it would it would scare the heck out of me. Do you have close calls ever? I've seen oh, you every day. Every day we out there, there's a close call. You know, you just got to be careful and uh, you know take precautions. But as long as you stay safe, everything turns out just fine. And what was it like, Jacob, for you when you first did it? Was, do you remember your first time? I was too little to remember my first time. How old were you? Mm, probably around seven or eight, maybe. Oh, yeah. uh, Younger than that. But, I mean, it's every alligator is different. You know, they, every single one of them acts different, just like human beings. But when you catch them real big ones, you know, a 12-footer that might weigh 800 pounds, you never forget them. You one know? of you all actually got in the water and wrestled with one. Was that one of you guys? Did you ever do that, Troy? Or I've had to do that a couple of times. You did? Yeah. And did you think, I, I mean, it could, this could be it? Uh, you don't even think about that. You just, <laughs> it's something you do every day and you just do it. And Brandy, you had a, a, a regular office job. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And then you started doing this. Yeah, sounds a little crazy, huh? Yeah, I mean, was it what, what was it like making that adjustment from? Well, you know, the the family needed the help. You know, we got two boats. You know, um, my dad's helper couldn't do it this year, so he asked if I could help him out this year. And you know, I asked work if I could take the month off. And um, you know, it was great to just be out there with the family and to know that I was helping them out. You know, to take care of business. And uh, you know, it's a big difference. You know go from the AC out to the heat, you know, very long days, most manual labor that I've done in a long time. Yeah, and why do you think this show is so popular, Troy? So I think it, the beauty of the swamps fascinates a lot of people, the danger of the alligators, and just some of them is maybe just to see a different way of life. You could, I guess you could almost say we the Amish of the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> I guess.